Hello, and welcome to another Halloween makeup video, as I do every year. And this year we are going to do this abstract skull makeup. So let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, we are going to start with the eyeshadow placement. So I am basing this off of Joanna Storm on Instagram. Uh, she has done quite a few uh, abstract skull makeup looks like what I'm going to do now. I've always been inspired by her and I've always wanted to try my hand at this. And so I'm focusing the eyeshadow in the uh, natural hollow portions of my face. So the eye sockets around the temples, cheekbone, uh, mouth, chin areas. You know, when you're thinking of typical skull makeup, that is typically the parts of your face that you like black out. Um, so now we're just placing the eyeshadows there. And the two eyeshadow colors I'm using are purple and turquoise, but you can use any color combo you want, really. Those are just the two colors I wanted, and I use lo a lot of ColourPop. The turquoise is from the Kathleen Lights uh, ColourPop palette, and the purple is from the Hocus Pocus ColourPop palette. And here I am bringing the eyeshadow down onto my neck because I am going to continue the skull line work down onto my neck, so I want um, the continuation to go down there so it, it doesn't uh, look incomplete. And I'm going in with a lot of highlighter now. I use a lot of highlighter. I put on three different glitters on my eyelid um, and I'm using the Danessa Myricks Moonlight Infinite Chrome Flake in my inner corner and it is absolutely gorgeous. And so now I'm taking the black liner. I'm using the Suva Beauty black liner. It's my tried and true. I'm building out a basic wing here and I'm smoking it out with the purple eyeshadow uh, because I want a smoky look. And now I'm going in with my Suva Beauty liner again and I'm starting to build the skull framework. So I'm focusing around the eye sockets, bringing it around the cheekbone, down to the mouth, and then I'm going to continue building those lines up onto my forehead area and then around my chin, like close to my ear and down my neck. And here I was going in, you know, many times to just build the uh, lines up until I was happy with how they were looking no real method to my madness and here I am going in on my nose now with the liner and with a black eyeshadow and I am building up the color more on my nose because I want it to appear more hollow and then I'm also going to repeat this process on my lips so the nose and lips are more opaque with the black and I definitely want it to appear uh, deeper and more hollow and I'm using a combo of the black liner, a black lipstick, and a black eyeshadow, and I'm also building out lines from my lips, kind of a la corpse paint a little bit. Uh, it gives it more of a creepy vibe to it. And now here I am adding uh, dots around the skull line work, and this is a detail that Joanna had in her uh, skull makeup looks that I really liked. I thought it was an interesting detail. And I also liked that she made her uh, skull makeup looks um, very grungy. And there was this detail that I'm assuming she added a kind of like splatter paint. Um, so I'm taking in a toothbrush and I am dipping it into my black liner and I'm kind of flicking it onto my face to create this uh, splatter effect and I'm building it up in areas and it helps um, to achieve this grungy, dirty kind of look. Okay, so I think I have the majority of what I want 
done and that was just the final touches that I want to do so uh, like lashes hair I think I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight here and there um, I'm gonna do that off camera and then when I come back I'll be finished So this is the finished look. Um, it's kind of giving Day of the Dead to me, but I also wanted to add this, um, which I'm call it a tool, um, to kind of give it a little corpse bride feel, skeleton bride feel to it as well. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. Honestly, this is pretty easy if you wanted to do it on Halloween day. Um, it'll probably last all night too. Um, Yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.